Hey guys, Seafar here, and welcome to the final episode of Ark the Farewell Tour. That's right, guys, this is it. This is what we've been working towards. Win, lose, or draw, the series ends here. And towards the end of this episode, guys, I'll explain why I've made this decision and what's coming up in the future, too. But that being said, guys, we are here at the Tech Cave ready to go. Hopefully going to take on Gamma Overseer. We'll have to see how this goes. We have the X Anki army here. These are the ones that took out Gamma Broodmother. We have our X Raptor army here. They took out the Megapithecus. And then finally, we have the remaining Megaloceruses that took out the Gamma Dragon. And don't worry, guys, uh, we got a few more all the way down at the end. It wasn't just two Megaloceruses remaining. Uh, we got plenty of armor. Uh, we have plenty of armor to deal with the heat. We have plenty of armor to deal with the cold. Obviously, in the opening um, introductions, guys, as you saw, I did in fact make a tech replicator and I was able to make tech leggings. And that is pretty much it. We don't have any other tech materials we only have 18 element left over so as you guys see in this inventory i mean it's completely completely stacked because guys i'm nervous i am really nervous for this one in the past whenever i've taken on the tech cave it's always been alpha overseer and i felt so over prepared we had rexes we had theries we had a ton of uteranuses but th this is it <laughs> i mean this is absolutely it it's we got a couple of deer in here, we got a couple of raptors, and we got a couple of ankies, and we have one Yudi. That is it. I'm nervous. I know it's Gamma. I know it's easier. Let's put it that way, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, guys. But if you guys find yourself enjoying this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys have enjoyed the Ark Farewell Tour series, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we got some pretty big plans for the channel coming in the future, too. So if you're excited for that, take a minute, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really genuinely helps me out. But without further ado, guys... I'm going to have a quick drink, and then we are going to get into this cave. I am really, really nervous for this. But without further ado, let's see how this goes. All right, we got all three trophies in there. We have the Gamma Broodmother trophy, the Gamma Dragon trophy, and the Gamma Megapithecus trophy. Here we go. And now this is going to be the real big test to make sure that this line works the way it should. Because if not, we're going to be in real trouble. No, it's not. Shoot. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yep, this is what I was worried about. Okay, where are they? Oh, they weren't even linked up. Oh, God. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Shoot. Oh my god, they're stuck. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh crap, that's really not good. Alright, so this middle section's got to go first. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get this all figured out. We're okay. We're okay. Alright, here's what I'm going to do first then. Let's get the Megaloceroses going. Okay. Just to give us an idea, what levels are we looking at? 195. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, all right, all right. At least we got the raptors and the megaloceros is in. Okay. We got 243 left. Alright, I guess we'll just start with this line. Ugh. 
Oh wait, why are they? Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, so they're all linking up with different ones. Oh no. All right, 34 out of 50 right now, that's not good. Okay, so we're actually not that bad right now. We still got 50 seconds. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm not taking any others in. As long as 47 of them are in, I think we're good. I think we're just going to play it from here. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, I think we've got it all figured out. I think some ex ankies are going to have to get involved here too. It is what it is. But yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to slowly bring these guys down. Just another foot or two. Enough where I don't have them aggroed up there, and I think we're just going to whistle everyone in. This is going to be nuts, because I'm literally using 20-plus raptors to deal with this. But maybe we'll be okay. No, 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 don't go to the edge, don't go to the edge, don't go to the edge. the poor Megaloceros is gonna die. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, the problem is they're pushing the... Yeah, see what I mean? Like, they're pushing him so far that that's gonna be an issue, but oh god. <laughs> Next step is Allos. Oh my god. Okay. They didn't do that bad though, honestly. So you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just kind of boost them up a bit, right? And then we'll send them in again. I think we're gonna be okay, actually. Oh, God, some of them went really far down. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, we're definitely going to lose a couple things along the way there because there is no way. Ah, uh, something fell. Oh, God, a lot of stuff fell down there. Damn. X-Raptor. I have a feeling some of them went down into the friggin' whatchamacallit. <sighs> All right. X-Raptor was killed. Another X-Raptor is going to be killed, too. Shoot. So, guys, we're almost at the tail end of the cave here. It is well over two plus hours. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how people get through this on servers, because I believe when you're on a server, you only have an hour to get through this cave. I honestly have no idea how people do it. But that being said, um, obviously, we all know at the end, it's supposed to be a Giga. And I say supposed to because this time it's a Karka. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I never actually... Obviously, Gigas and Karkas have the same spawn and everything now, but I never really thought, like, hey, inside of the tech cave, 
that would also hold true too. So that's really cool, honestly. But I want to see if I can get this guy. I just want to basically knock him to the water like we do with the Giga and stuff. That should work. Oh god, did I not angle that right? <gasps> oh, thank god. <laughs> Imagine he's able to get up somehow. I think he's okay. All right, so at least the Giga is out of the way. We have a couple of aloes to deal with. We have a couple of... Mm, how do I want to do this? Honestly, I'm really hoping that if I shoot them, they're going to kind of run off the side by mistake. That's kind of the hope. But let's do this. Let's angle the UD like so. Let's do a fear roar over here, just in case. <laughs> this will be the perfect time that a Perlovia attacks me, right? Um, all right, so I think I'm going to shoot the aloe, get back onto the UD, and then we're going to just start booking it back to our guys. Because along the way, they're going to fall at some point. We know how pathfinding is in this game. So I think we're going to be okay. Come on, get, go. All right, hopefully that works. Maybe if I angle a little bit this way too, this'll help. Push him into the lava, maybe. Nope, they're figuring it out. Shoot, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh man, the amount of times, I don't know how much of the footage I'm actually gonna show, because like I said, it's been well over two hours at this point. Um. So much of this has just been running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the UD. <laughs> just shoot something, try to get it into the lava. Honestly, lava is your best friend in this. Just let them fall in there if they can. And uh, yeah, just do it that way, honestly. I haven't had to fight too many things. Um, usually what I've done is I'll kind of like fear roar them. And then if they need a second or a third round of fear roar, then I'll do that. And that's kind of that. That's all I really had to do. I did have a little bit of a scare at one point, though, because a Megaloceros, I guess, can get under the UD. So it kind of pushed me up here. And honestly, if it kept pushing me further, is that a Perlovia thing? No, it's not. Okay. Um, if it kind of kept pushing me further and further, we would have gotten to the point where literally like, oh, this guy's right here. Can I fear roar an aloe? I don't think I can. I guess we'll try it. I don't think it's going to work, honestly, but. Nah, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll take him on. The problem is, yeah, the aloe like. I guess we'll see. Ooh, it does. The problem is a lot of things literally get under this guy, and then they just start moving them. Okay, come on, come on, come on. But this is the good thing. I'm able to get two roars in, and then they just start booking it, and the hope is that they run literally just straight down like they're doing... He's kind of doing. There we go. Okay, so that's two out of three. There was one more over here. I kind of saw him poke his head around this way. Where'd he go? Man, that's weird. All right. There was three of them. Okay. Let's see how our Kark is doing down here. Oh, it looks like the aloe jumped down. Okay. It's not that bad. But yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to clear out the entire rest of the cave, I think, with the UD. And then we'll slowly but surely start bringing everything down. I'm I'm really scared of the Capros, though, guys, honestly, because... <laughs> oh, man, like, he was great. He was trying to grab me a few times, and I don't know if the Capro can actually get you off of the back of this, but... Uh, and then we got Microraptors involved there, too. Oh, crap. Okay. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. We don't want neutral. I want to see if I can headshot a couple of these micro raptors. Or just completely miss. All right. Or don't do that, dude. All right. Let's see if that helps. Oh my god. I only have 31 shots left, so I can't really waste these. 
There we go. Um, I don't know where he went. Probably should have kept an eye on him, right? Alright, I guess we'll try to go for the friend. I don't even see the friend. I could try to get the Capro. Uh, this is scary. This is scary. Yeah, that jump is the... Ooh, that's... Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, them able to get underneath is a bit scary. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to run a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. He's finally scared. Okay, go, 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 go. Just go off that cliff, dude. Go off the cliff, go off the cliff, go off the cliff. Perfect. That should be just enough. Come on, a little bit more. And he's in the lava. Sweet. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Well, there goes the raptor armory. Ah, <gasps> uh, one Perlovia hits them, and they all go down. Wow. Okay, that might have changed a lot. <laughs> I think we have two raptor armies, though, so I think we're going to be okay. But we only have one raptor for right now. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Okay, I might as well take this guy the rest of the way then, because if there's going to be any micro raptors and stuff that pop out, I would rather it happen now. Just being on the back of one. Oh, wow, that's a huge loss. <gasps> what if that was the entire army? I don't think I linked the two armies up, so I think we're okay. But that's really bad. I was kind of expecting the raptors to be the ones chasing the overseer. That might have cost us, actually, now that I think about it. <gasps> oh, I, a part of me was thinking, let's bring the Ankies first. And then I'm like, no, you know what? We'll do the raptors because they're quick. Oh, God, that's the... There better be another group of raptors. If there's another group of raptors, then we're okay. That doesn't look like a lot of damage numbers, though. Like, I mean, it is. It's a lot of 33s going right now, but... Uh, one, two, three... Oh, God. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that might not be the whole army. Oh, God. <laughs> six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Woo! God. Nine X Raptors gone. Wow. Okay, wait. Then where are the other ones? Oh, they're right here. <gasps> Is that it? Is that all I have left for the raptors now? <gasps> oh, no. That? Ooh. That might have cost us. That actually legitimately might have cost us this whole thing. If that was nine that just got killed... I don't know. All right, well, we might as well bring down the other raptors now. If we're really going to make a mistake, might as well just continue the mistakes. <laughs> ah, I kind of want to run all the way back up to the top, too, just to see if I've missed any raptors. <gasps> I'm wondering if certain raptors didn't get in. No, I don't know. Because I feel like... Maybe I read that wrong. Maybe there were a lot more than nine. 
No, no, no. The sad part is we have no idea what actually hit me. Was it a Capro? Was it a... I'm, I'm surprised that I actually didn't get hit with it. Was it a Perlovia? Because the crazy thing is, I went through every square inch of this, or at least I thought I did, um, every square inch and literally did a fear roar to kind of get everything out of here. That's so crazy. Oh my god. That might have cost us. So, guys, we have finally made it to the terminal. I'm looking around at the dinos that we actually have remaining, and I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Because, <laughs> of course, the Anki, the one creature that I was kind of iffy about bringing in, because, again, they're just so slow, even though they're just so tanky. Of course, all of them survived. Uh, Megaloceruses, of course, like the three or four that I brought in all survived. The X-Raptors, I was really, really, really hoping we can get them in here because I feel like they're really, really quick. They're going to be able to keep up with the Overseer. Um, they do a decent amount of damage, honestly, and, of course... That's what we lose. <laughs> we lose 90% of the raptors as opposed to anything else. But guys, at this point, I mean, pretty much, let's just get on in. Let's see how this goes. I'm not feeling too confident about this at this point, but who knows? These guys could, in fact, turn it around. So let's do activating this. Oh, okay. I thought I had to actually do something else, but let's make sure that everyone's getting in this fight. It looks like everyone's getting in. Okay, sweet. Um, the one nice thing about the Overseer is, at least on single player and on PvE specifically, um, you can bring in more than 20 dinos specifically. So this whole group is about eh, 30 maybe, maybe 35, somewhere around there, because I think we actually ended up bringing in a total of 47. Um, of course, we had many lost along the way, but um, all these guys will actually get into the fight, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens honestly we have two things of water left which is surprising i was really really worried that we were going to run out of water honestly um we have all of our different soups stuff like that but at this point i mean we're just going to be on the back of the uteranus we're going to let them do all the fighting and hopefully things go well but <sighs> i'm not feeling confident at all about this but of course now we get over to the hall of champions and then we get to do our nice little walkthrough and everything like that. And I really, really like this spot. And I know I mention this all the time, but I really like the fact that the Overseer could have been watching us taking on the Broodmother. That's the Broodmother um, little lair area, the arena right there. Then you have the same thing for the dragon over here. Kind of like, I don't know. It's just this idea that like, they were watching the entire time. I don't know. I really, really like that. And plus, like, looking over at the Megapithecus, like, this looks really cool, I gotta say. I don't think there's any other map that kind of did a tech area like this, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it looks really cool. So let's have a little bit of water. Let's get down to our last bit here. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of food. Guys, I know there's explorer notes along the way. I know that... Um, all this stuff in the Hall of Champions is really cool and everything, because it definitely is. But at the same time, this isn't our first rodeo here. Obviously, for doing the Gamma fight, it is. But at the end of the day, we've done this before. I'm not going to go through and grab the Explorer Note stuff like that, because at this point, you know, I think I think we're good to go. This is a decent group. But I don't know if it's going to go well, honestly. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, let me get to the main room. I'll bring you guys back and well... Overseer Gamma, coming up. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see how much of a shit show this is. All right, I guess let's do this for the meantime. Might as well just stop him all. Get a couple of roars in. Alright, go for it, guys. Let's see what happens. Alright, so the idea is and the hope is that the Yankees, because they're so, so slow, they're gonna deal with these guys. Or maybe I will have to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious to see how easy these guys are, though. So... Okay, maybe not. Oh, boy. I just realized they're on passive, aren't they? Nope, there we go. Ooh, don't get hit by that already. 
see if I can get a couple of them to come on over and start taking out these, like, drone things. You know what? Screw it. I think th they're just going to have to go after the Overseer. I'm going to have to keep running around here. But yeah, I need them to start attacking the damn thing, honestly. Wow, I honestly thought the Raptors would be able to keep up with it. They can't. Wow. Okay. The good news is, once we get to the bosses and everything... They'll be able to actually uh, catch up and everything because the bosses don't run around like this. Um, all right, are we changing to our first? Ooh, okay, so it's going to be the Broodmother first. I believe. Oh, no, it's the... Oh, God, Megapithecus. I can't get hit by that. If I do, I think I'm pretty much dead. Come on, guys, get him. Dang, he does work. I feel like this one's a friggin' harder than the uh, actual Megapithecus that we took on. Jesus. Ah, oh, Megaloceros is down already. All right. Megapithecus is almost down. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get in there. Uh, another Megaloceros down. That's okay. As long as the Raptors stay about. Okay, cool. All right. First round done. Dragon's gonna be such a pain. Oh, my God. All right, he's about halfway, so he should be getting really close to... As long as we hit him a couple of more times. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he's going to take shape now. All right, so we went against the um, Megapithecus before. Oh, no, he's not taking shape yet. Oh, crap, okay. Megaloceros again. Oh, uh, man, poor Megaloceros. All right, I got to get this Raptor out of here. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, God, I got knocked off again. All right, taking shape and the broodmother. Okay. All right, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna bring the broodmother straight over to us. Let's do this. Broodmother is gonna come on over. All right, get in there, guys. Broodmother, I feel like should be the easy. Ooh, okay, maybe not. Jesus. All right, the Megaloceroses are pretty much out. I think that's it now. Raptors are starting to die out. Ooh, good. That's not good. And we still have the dragon left. So here's going to be the problem now. The UD is the only thing that's quick enough to actually go after the Overseer. We're just down to Ankies now. Ooh, we are in for a really long fight, guys. Oh, God, I got really hit there. Oh, shoot. All right. I think we finally got it down 25%. It might turn into the dragon now. Maybe. I mean, it's close. It's at 20. It looks really close to 25%.
but yeah, the fact that it literally keeps running... Oh, shoot. Here we go. Yep. All right, dragon. and your Anki was killed by the dragon. Okay. I don't know where the rest of the Ankies are because I feel like we still had a ton left. That does not look like the whole group. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quickly run around and double check because I feel like... Yeah, see, like, why are they just getting killed? Like, what's actually killing them? Oh my god, they're just... Ah, uh, they're taking a beating now. No. It's us versus the dragon. Shoot. Uh, I know this is... Ooh, God. Okay. Might have to run around a little bit until I figure out what I want to do here. Ooh, okay. Okay, I have the ammo on me. I have everything that I need. I might try to do this on the back of the foot, like on my feet. Oh, that's so risky. Yeah, I might not even have a choice. Yeah, let's go. Run. Health, 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 health. I literally cannot move. Oh, boy. If I can quickly try to switch out. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Does this work in here? Please. It does. Okay, good. I know this is insane. But I think this is how we're going to have to do it. Reload, reload, reload. The UD's hanging in there. Come on, reload, reload, reload. so quick. Uh, yep. Yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. Damn. We put up a good fight, though. Gonna be honest. Uh, I knew the dragon was gonna be the hardest part. Shit. And guys, that is that. And I gotta say, with the rain, with the gloominess, it definitely sets the mood. Um, 
I'm a bit frustrated and I'm a bit, I'm a bit upset that we couldn't get through Gamma Overseer, but at the same time, we did a heck of a lot better than I thought we could. And full disclosure to you guys, from the start of the episode all the way to time of death, that was four and a half hours plus of recording. Um, I realized it was 1.45 in the morning once, um, once I actually died. So I went to bed. I was exhausted. It's the next morning. I got my cup of coffee here. I'm a little bit more refreshed. So we can kind of talk about what happened with the fight, where I think we did well, what went wrong. Um, why I am, in fact, ending the series here, even though we did lose, and um, what the plans are for the channel in the future. So first things first, yes, it's frustrating that we couldn't get through Gamma Overseer. I think going through the Tech Cave and also during the fight, we did have a couple of bad rolls, if you will. We just had a little bit of bad luck here and there, and I think if we change the situation a little bit, I think we're in a better spot than what we ended up being in. So what I mean is, first things first, my fault entirely losing the first group of Raptors. I think it was a group of three or four right from the beginning. We kind of steamrolled the first part. We, I got a little bit overzealous. I do see a Sarko there. Are we going to have to fight you? No. If I kind of get to his side over here, I think we're okay. Um... So, I think I got a little overzealous because I was really nervous at the start of the cave. I thought we weren't even going to make it through the first part. But once we started killing the Therries, once we started killing the Terror Birds, the Aloes, the Rexes, I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to be easy. No big deal. Let's just send the Raptors in and just have them go nuts, which is what I did. And ultimately, we ended up losing four or five falling into lava over that because the Raptors kind of just keep attacking, keep pushing the thing back, 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 and eventually... Boom. <laughs> in the lava they went. So that was the first group of four or five of them. Um, the second group, I genuinely have no idea what happened because I think we did get Capro... Not bounce, not whatever. Capro hit. <laughs> A Capro took one of our raptors, and of course it had to be the second one in line, which then forced all the other ones to follow that one into the lava, which that means we lost another nine raptors to that, which is just absolutely crazy. I genuinely don't know how that happened because I went through that area multiple times using this UD Fear Roar to kind of pull everything out. Um, I even went on foot back and forth because I was bringing stuff down to the next area, basically. So... I don't know how it... I personally never got pounced to begin with. I don't know how the UD never picked it up in a fear roar. I don't know. And I think looking back at the footage... I haven't looked back at the footage yet, but I think looking back at it... It's only going to raise more questions than answers, honestly. So I'm just going to let it be. I'm just going to say, look, it's one of those bad rolls and arc that you get. Um, and the bad rolls continued, honestly. Once we got into the boss fight, um, I think ultimately we did pretty well. But at the same time... I think if the the boss order changed a little bit and we had the dragon first, I think we're having a different conversation because I think this solidifies how tough the dragon is compared to everything because we got the Overseer down 75%. Um, we got the Broodmother obviously killed. We got the Megapithecus obviously killed. The fact that the dragon came along last, and if you guys saw the health on the dragon, even after killing everything... It still had 80% health left, so I'm still going to stick to my guns and say the dragon is the toughest boss here on the island. It doesn't compare to the Overseer, but I think if we re-roll the boss order and we put the dragon first, and sure, we're taking a lot of casualties right from the beginning, but if we get through that dragon and we're able to keep up with the Overseer and we basically can kill this thing quick enough where it doesn't spawn another boss in after spawning the Broodmother and the Megapithecus after that, I think we're actually winning this. So it's kind of crazy that a couple of little things here and there do ultimately cause the downfall. But ultimately, guys, we can keep deep diving into the series. We can talk about the what ifs. Why did I do this? Why did I do that? But personally, we can do that for another 20, 30 plus minutes. And to me, that's just not entertaining. If you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, throw it in the comments below. I'll explain my reasoning there. But for right now, let's talk about the more important stuff. First of all, I had an absolute blast with this series. There are things that I did in the series that I personally have never done in my playthroughs before. I'm carrying that over to new playthroughs, 100%, especially 
having the random dinos do the boss fights, in my opinion, was a huge, huge win. I had an absolute blast with it. It was a lot of fun trying to figure out what dino could potentially take on the Broodmother, the Megapithecus, when not going the traditional route. Because don't get me wrong, guys, it does... There is a certain feeling that you get of bringing in Megatheriums against the Gamma, Beta, and Alpha Broodmother and just sweeping. Like, it's a pretty cool feeling, but at the same time, the fact that whoever thought Ankies would come out of that fight victorious, whoever thought that Raptors would not only kill the Megapithecus, but, I mean, completely decimate them, I mean... I personally didn't, and that, for me, just reinvigorates the game for me. It gives me a lot more options to work with. It gives me just a lot more ideas and everything, and I love that part of Ark, that it's such a sandboxy kind of game where the world is your oyster. You can go nuts. You can have, hell, I guess if you breed them up enough, you can have dodos go into the I mean, I wouldn't do it, but you know what I mean? The, I, the possibilities are endless with boss fights, and that's what makes it incredibly fun using these dinos that you wouldn't traditionally use and seeing how they do. So that is 100% one thing that will carry over to future series on this channel. But I think it's time, guys. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Why is the series ending here? Why is this it for the Ark, the Farewell Tour? And guys, I'm going to mention it again in case you didn't hear it before. Yes, this is it. This is the finale. Even though we lost, I would prefer to have won, but that's how Ark is. You lose on a down note, you get hit a little bit harder, and you kind of have to build yourself back up and figure it out. And I think it's pretty fitting that this is the way the series ended, honestly, in my opinion. But... Why is the series ending here? And it's pretty simple. So when Ark Survival Ascended was announced, it was supposed to be like a free update, essentially. So kind of just a huge update to the game, which was going to bring us the graphical updates and the rest of the stuff that they were kind of planning, right? But obviously things have changed, and now it's going to be an entirely new game. And on top of that, when Ark Survival Ascended comes out, we are only going to originally have access to both Scorched Earth and the island. So here's kind of the thing, and you guys might have realized this. Since that news has come out, I've really sped up this series. Like, we've quickly done the caves, we've done the boss fights, and here we are because ultimately I don't want to copy and paste. I don't want to keep doing this for the next couple months, and then once Ark Survival Ascended comes out, we're back on the island. I want to mix it up a little bit. I want to head over to a different map. Right now, this new series will start on May 1st. So in the next couple days, that gives us a solid four months for a new series. And that's a lot of content, honestly. And I think heading over to this new map, and you guys will find out in the next few days what it is, we're not only going to be, we're going to be able to get through it. And we're going to be able to have a lot of fun with it. I'm kind of planning at this point, I've kind of done the math in my head, it's going to be 50 plus episode series, basically. So it's going to be a big chunk to work with. But the idea is that we literally have all of May, all of June, all of July, and really all of August, because I think it's supposed to come out like August 31st or something. So essentially four solid months of a new map, just get us off the island for a little bit, take a four month vacation from this place, because... Well, we're going to be back in Ark Survival Ascended, basically. So that's my that's my gist. That is why I'm ending the series here. I hope you guys understand. I just want to change the pace a little bit, basically, of not staying on the island the entire time and just having it become boring. I don't know if that's the right wording, but I think you guys understand what I'm getting at. Synonymous, um, just the same thing over and over. Same map, same dinos, and whatever. So... Hopefully you guys understand. If you guys don't, if you guys have any questions, if you guys are happy about this change, if you guys are upset about this change, of course, that's where the comments section is specifically, guys. So throw your comments down there. Hopefully I clarified enough for you guys kind of why this series is ending here. And of course, yes, guys, I will say it is on a down note. I would have loved to have been able to defeat the Overseer, but again, that's kind of how Ark is. Like, it brings you down further and further and you got to figure out how to get yourself back up and better than you were before you got to uh ascend and survive if you will i guess we'll use some arc wording there but that's gonna wrap this one up guys um i don't know what else to say but i again had an absolute blast with the series i really hope that you guys did too Make sure to smash that like button and make sure to show your support for the channel by clicking that subscribe button. 
I'm keeping that in, by the way. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It genuinely does help the channel out immensely. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. And I guess without further ado, what map are we heading to next? Have a quick look and we'll check it out.